Taft Township Public Library and you are watching Storytime Anytime. Now we always start Storytime with our special hello song and while we sing we do two of the words in American Sign Language. The first word is hello, so you're going to hold up your hand, put it right to the tip of your forehead and just like you're saluting, lift it up and away. That's how we say hello in American Sign Language. The next word we're going to do is friends. We're going to take our two pointer fingers they are best friends, so they're going to give each other hugs. And that's how we say friends in American Sign Language. Are you ready to sing? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. We're going to sing one more time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Are you ready to listen to some stories? Hi, everybody. It is Miss Jana from the Bath Township Public Library, and Zach is with me. Can you say hello? Hello. Zach and I are going to do a fun fish song using the flannel board. It's a really easy song, and it's great for counting and learning colors. So, Zach, can you put our fish, one of our first fish, on the board? So we have one, what color fish? Red. One red fish. We racing? One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 bubble. Do we have any more fish? Yeah, he goes. Yeah, he goes. So we have one, two, what color fish? Green. Green fish. Can you show two fingers? Two little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little green fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Do we have more fish? Yeah. Can we count these ones? All right, put them on the board. So, one, two, three. Can you show three fingers? And what color are these fish? What color are these fish? Blue. Blue. Three little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 bubble. Ah! Whoa! And I tried it it fell. It almost fell. Now we have one, two, three. Four. What color fish? Yellow. Yellow fish. Ready to sing? Yep. Four little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little yellow fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Hmm, let's see what other fish we have. Now we have one. Two, three, four, five. You show me all the five fingers? What color are these fish? Orange. Orange. Five little orange fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Five little orange fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop! Great job, everybody. Mama. Our first story is called Piranhas Don't Eat Bananas. And this is written and illustrated by Aaron Blavey, and this is published by Scholastic. You may recognize the name Aaron Blavey. He is the writer and illustrator of all the Pig the Pug picture books, which are some of my favorites, and also the Bad Guy series, which was recently made into a movie. But you should still check out the books first from the library because they are really funny. Now, first, some information about piranhas. 
The piranha is a freshwater fish that lives in South American rivers. They are not in Michigan, I promise. They are known for their sharp teeth, powerful jaws, and their enormous appetite for meat. The piranha will happily eat cows, sheep, donkeys, horses, monkeys, gorillas, cats, dogs, kittens, puppies, guinea pigs, bunny rabbits, goldfish, postmen, pizza delivery guys, little children who have been naughty, professional tennis players, old ladies who were just in the wrong place at the wrong time, little children who've actually been pretty good, astronauts, ballet dancers, belly dancers, TV talent show contestants, chimney sweeps, and most other types of people. What they don't eat, though, is fruit, especially bananas. Are you ready? Piranhas don't eat bananas. Hey there, guys! Would you like a banana? What's wrong with you, Brian? You're a piranha! Piranha and banana don't rhyme very well, do they? <laughs> it's still silly. Well, how about some silver beet? Are you serious, Brian? We eat feet! Uh-oh. Or would you rather a bowl of Peas? Do you like peas? Oh, stop it, Brian. We eat knees. Well, I bet you'd like some juicy plums. Hmm, do you think they want to try some plums? That's it, Brian. We eat bums. We don't eat apples. We don't eat beans. We don't eat veggies. We don't eat greens. We don't eat melons. We don't eat bananas. And the reason is simple, pal. We are piranhas. Well, I think that's silly, guys. Fruit is the best. We can't take much more of this. Give it a rest. Okay. I'll stop then. You'll hear no more chatter, but only if you try my awesome fruit platter. Hmm, it does look tasty. Which fruit is your favorite? I like pineapple a lot and pears. Oh, give it here then. All right, they're going to try it. <gasps> wow. Feeding frenzy. What a mess. Do you think they like it? So, what do you think, guys? Is it yucky or yum? Yeah, it's very nice, Brian. But we still prefer bum. The end. Our next book is about five fish that live in a fish tank. It's called Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike. And this is written by Cynthia Ryland, and it is illustrated by Mike Austin, and this is published by Beach Lane Books. Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike are five fish who met at the fish store. They are fab friends. Can we count the fish? One, two, three, four, five. What other animals do you see at the pet store? I see a cat and a turtle, and a dog, and a bird. A little girl brought them home and plopped them into the tank. Plop, 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 plop. Fab! They are very excited. This fish tank is like heaven. Henny loves the orange gravel. Penny loves the diver. Lenny loves the rock. Denny loves the pirate ship. And Mike loves the bubbles. Nobody loves snail, but that's okay. Poor snail. And the cat likes to watch them swim, it looks like. This is fish tank life. We swim, 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 and we gulp, gulp, gulp. Mmm, fish flakes. Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike think that being a fish is so fab. 
They smack kisses to the little girl every day. Mwah, 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 mwah. There is only one day when fish tank life is not so fab. It's clean the fish tank day. Oh no, look, she's caught them in a net. They are unceremoniously plopped into a bowl. Then the little girl makes the orange gravel, the diver, the pirate ship, the rock, and the whole big fish tank just sparkle. So see, maybe it's worth being plopped into a bowl. Wow, everything is so crisp. The diver is impeccable. The ship is ship shape, but alas, the snail is still ignored. Can fish tank life be any more perfect than this? Why, yes, because, <gasps> plop! Well, hello, clownfish, ta-da! The clownfish is such a clown. He starts, he starts telling joke after joke, and Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike laugh so hard, their bubbles fizz up the whole tank. But wait, there's more, plop! An angel fish. Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike stop yucking it up and they just stare. She is so beautiful. But wait, there's more. Glunk. It's a fairy castle. Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike forget all about clowns and angels. They are all about the fairy castle. It is enchanting. It is ornamental. It is exotic. It is... A trap! Oh no! Help! Lenny is stuck! Oh no, says Henny, Penny, Denny, and Mike. What do we do? The clownfish tries to lighten the mood with a joke. The angelfish begins to pray, yet nothing unsticks Lenny. But wait, <gasps> who's gonna save him? What's this? Who is it? It's the snail! It is snail! A snail on a mission. The quick thinking snail, who everyone had ignored, slides right up to Lenny and with one fell suck. <sharp inhale> pop! Lenny is unstuck. The tank explodes into cheers. Yay! Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike smack kisses all over the snail. Mwah, 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 mwah. The clownfish yucks it up. The angelfish sings hallelujah, and fish tank life returns to what it always was. So fab. And look, the snail is not ignored anymore. The end. Hi everybody, it is Miss Jana from the Bath Township Public Library. I have a flannel board song all about going to the beach likes to go to the beach in the summertime. I know I love to go to the beach. Well, one of the first things that happens when we go to the beach is we have to put on sunscreen. Do your grown-up tell you to put on sunscreen at the beach? The grown-ups with the kids say, put on sunscreen, put on sunscreen, put on sunscreen. The grown-ups with the kids say, put on sunscreen when we're at the beach. But something else that happens at the beach. Sometimes when we walk, the sand is really hot. The sand when we walk is hot, 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 hot. The sand when we walk is hot, hot, hot when we're at the beach. Mm. If we go to the ocean, or maybe like Michigan, there can be great big waves in the water. The waves in the water go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the water go up and down when we're at the beach. Hmm, if there's really big waves, you might see a surfer. Has anybody ever seen a surfer? Can you pretend to ride a surfboard with me? The surfer on the wave says, Cowabunga dude, cowabunga dude, cowabunga dude. The surfer on the wave says, Cowabunga dude, 
when we're at the beach. Something else we might see at the beach. I know, when we go to the beach, we always see lots of seagulls. The seagulls in the sky go flap, 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 flap. The seagulls in the sky go flap, flap, flap when we're at the beach. What's something else we might see? Sometimes there's little crabs scuttling in the sand. The crabs scuttling by go pinch, 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 pinch. The crabs scuttling by go pinch, pinch, pinch when we're at the beach. Mm. Well, if it's really hot, we're definitely going to go swimming, right? The swimmers in the water go splash, 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 splash. The swimmers in the water go splash, splash, splash when we're at the beach. Mm. Well, eventually, the sun starts to set, right? The sun overhead is going down, going down, going down. The sun overhead is going down. Our day at the beach is done. Well, thank you for singing about a trip to the beach with me. Bye. Well, story time is almost over. All we have left to do is to sing our goodbye song. Our goodbye song is a lot like our hello song. But remember how we signed hello? This time we're going to sing and sign goodbye. So you lift your hand up and you wave goodbye. And that is how you say goodbye in American Sign Language. Do you remember friends? We take our two pointer fingers and they are best friends and they are going to give each other hugs. Are you ready to sing? Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. We're gonna sing one more time. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching Storytime Anytime, and be sure to subscribe to the Bath Township Public Library YouTube channel, and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Bye!